start my life anew Instead of having sweet dreams all about you You don't love me, it's plain
through that hole. Yeah. Twenty sixth of July, we're having a snowball fight. Here's the traveler. We're ready to go. Chris is just. Well, we always wanted to be <laughs> I had to show my world travelers. Oh. There they are. There they are. There's Mother and Ray Jo. This is right in front of our cabin. You come down those steps there. And then our cabin is right there. We're right on this balcony. Beautiful place. We got two beds, a sink, a bathroom, a shower, a kitchen table. Travelers, Rebecca, oh, Burita, Mother. Is that what he's got? Mother. And what? And, and then we're going to go to Anchorage. There's Burita, Mother, and Rebecca. There's the sun. this morning. We had to get up real early this morning and have breakfast. Only thing was, the time changed last night. We had to set our clock forward an hour, and some of them didn't do it, so we got a little later start than usual. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. And uh, so far, I brought my umbrella, but I've never had to use it. We're all busy getting our tickets for us right now. more at Harry's so we brought these two young ladies to the park we told them they have to sit here and be good and don't get into any trouble and don't talk to strangers <laughs> don't pick up any men the elderly <laughs> Come on.
tried so hard. <laughs> Now, Chris, I want to take that. Can I ask you a question? Hey. to have a half an hour carriage ride through the town of Abingdon. Okay. So you guys decide how you want to ride. Three and one and four and the other. <laughs> yeah, how long did it take? Okay. Rachel, how long did it normally take to get over that one? Well, he said um, people. he did say he mentioned me. Not completely over, but I did, you know, getting over. He'll take me a year. He'll be a year. Everybody tells me. But now the book said six months. That might have been for one knee, though, where I had both of my knees. <coughs> and then one of your knees don't hurt you at all, does it? Uh uh. uh this is not hurt. Is yours? Yeah, no, it's not mine. I mean, it's the. Uh, here, Chris. Come here, honey. Uh, this is Becky's. Becky. That's so oh, good about it. This is nice. I said just oh, I open it. it and then you yeah, take it out of the box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll make it. I'll go with them with the other thing. Yeah. Oh, a ceiling fan. And light. Oh. oh. And light. Oh. You want that out in the... Your bedroom. This is going bedroom. And um, we're in my bedroom. Well, I mean, This is my cousin Shirley and my mom Burita. Look what two beautiful ladies there is. What happened to my voice? There's no voice on. I don't know about that. <laughs> you want a tissue? Yeah. <laughs> I had one. I left it.
Who were you surprised that lived up here? She lives up here now. Uh, Who does? Drusilla. No. Um, your girl. Your Betsy Sue? No, more. Betsy Sue is Rita Joe's girl. the first day of May. But we never could take down the heater and do her house cleaning until after the 10th or 15th. Wasn't it always said that there was a, a frost that came around the 10th of the month? They are. It's old spell. Yeah. Well, that's why it's like this right now. It's the wood winter. See the dog woods in bloom? Yeah, but it hasn't frozen yet. Oh, no, no. They, they, it's not going to be freezing. They can be cold. And the, about the 15th of May, it, there's a cold spell. When did you when did you used to do your uh, garden back when Ma was living? Well, they would put out teas and lettuce and stuff long in March. Mm -hmm. And in, in early February, put out uh, uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Some, they wouldn't plant them all. But they never planted no beans or nothing until after 15th. After 15th. and raise them vines up and go in there and get them tomatoes. Keep bringing out tomatoes that eat. Really? Pretty sick. And let me tell you then, when it got the frosting, the weather got the frosting, mm -hmm. I pulled them every one off. He come out here and helped me. I wrapped each one up and put them in a basket and put them in the basement. About every other day, I could go down there and the tomato was ripe. This is pretty ripe as you ever saw. Every one of them. Did they taste good after yeah, they ripened good, that way? Yeah, they had a good taste. It's amazing what they done. Mm. No, Chris, I, I don't, really don't miss it. I got all this, and uh, I can go quickly and get anything I want. And I'm in the baseball line. <clears throat> and uh, down the pay list, they had it too. And you know, I couldn't afford, it cost me more to hire somebody to come here and play out, buy the fertilizer, and I couldn't work it, but I couldn't do it. But it, it, it just wouldn't be worth it. Mm -hmm. Mother, do you miss having a garden? Yes, I do. You'd would like to have you one? Would like to have one, Burena? Yes, I would. Just a little one? Okay. Yeah, yeah I, don't, little. I don't. I don't miss it at all, Burena. Well, I, I, I've you, you poured out, put out more than I have, but I feel like it. I Lord, honey, mean you plan to meet and heal together. <laughs> Men, you're playing the menu because we planted our part, be Rita. Yeah. When mommy got down to she couldn't hardly go, it was so odd to think well, that she can't go. She was, uh, it was she, uh, her, tired. She tired. And now, how well I can understand. I'd go over there every morning. She'd have the dirt raked up just right under the stove for me to. You know, clean up. Mm -hmm. She'd have it right there. It swept up. Swept up. Yeah. I never will forget the time I, I life mattered. I still am pat about it. When she lost Poppy, uh, they'd eat dinner, and she was washing dishes. And all of a sudden, she missed Poppy. And she hollered at me. She said, Read Joe, come quick, Joe's gone. And I said, Mommy, where did Poppy go? She said, You know, I don't know. I sure washing dishes. And I saw a man go through the by the yard with a hat on, but I didn't know it was Joe. So me and Verm, I told Verma, I said, let's go. We took out. He was down there below the barn, and he said he was going home. 
And then he had socks on, but he didn't know his shoes on. Oh, my goodness. Had his hat on. We brought him back to the house. When did he die? I mean... That was before he took his bed. Oh, okay. Uh, he, 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 his mind was bad, but his mind was going back to where he lived. He lived on Caney. You think he had Alzheimer's? Uh, uh, no, no, it was that cancer in his head was what, what was wrong with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was kind of like the Alzheimer's, but naturally that cancer, you know, his head. Right. But Mommy said, well, I saw a man go by when I was washing dishes, but I didn't know it was Joe. <laughs> she want me to come out Joe.